So analytical studies, we are analyzing the disease, right? Analyzing. That's why they are called as analytical studies. So we are trying to determine the etiology of the disease, that why this disease has happened. Why? So this is, analytical studies are divided into three types. Number one are the cross-sectionals. Number two are the cohorts. And number three are the case control. Let us see each of these studies separately. So first of all, when we talk about is, first of all, we talk about is the cross-sectional study. So any of these studies we have in analytical, whether it is cross-sectional, cohort or case control, we always have two groups. The one group is the study group or the experimental group who is having the exposure, having the disease and the other group is the control group. Not having the disease or not having the exposure, we always have the control group in every study for the comparison of our results. So the cross-sectional study is about today. It's about present. So let's say I'm choosing 10 subjects. Five of them are smokers and five of them are non-smokers. Now, this is only about today. I want to see, okay, these five subjects who are smoker, do they have oral cancer today or they don't have the oral cancer? And five of them which are control, non-smoker, do they have cancer today or they don't have the cancer? So it is only about today, it's only about current. Two factors, cancer, yes or no, smoking, yes or no, that's it. But when we talk about the second study that we have, that is related to your cohorts. So what is happening in cohort? In cohorts too, again, you have two groups, the study group and the control group. Now cohorts are divided into prospective cohorts and the retrospective cohorts. Okay. So in retro, as the word is saying, we are going into the past. We are saying, okay, those 10 subjects were smoking in the past. Do they develop cancer that time? Yes or no? Retrospective cohort. So that we are trying to create an association between the exposure and the disease. But in prospective cohort, we are going in future. So let's say, we selected 10 subject, 5 of them are smoker, 5 of them are non-smoker. So we are going to follow these subject over next 5 years of time. So we started our study from July 2024 and we are going to do our study until July 2029. These smokers to see that whether the habit of smoking when they are continuing, does it lead to cancer at the end of the study or not? And then compare the results with that control group who were non-smoker. So if you compare the cohorts with the cross-sectional, cross-sectional limitation is it cannot determine the casualty. It cannot tell you the cause of the disease because cross-sectional is only about today. We are not going into the past. We are not going into the future. We are just talking about okay today smoker, non-smoker, cancer, or no cancer, but we are not going to go in the past to see, okay, for how long they were smoking to develop cancer today, or were they drinking also at the same time to develop cancer today? No, but in case of cohort, we are trying to establish a relationship between the exposure and the disease, cohorts. Now, when we talk about the third type of analytical study, they are case control. what are case controls? Case control, remember, you already have a case here. You already have a disease here. Okay. So you selected 10 subjects. Five of them are having the cancer and five of them are not having the cancer. So in case control, what we are doing, we are going in the past to see for how long they were smoking 
to develop the cancer today and then we compare our results with the control group so whenever we compare between analyte between your case control cross sectional and the cohorts the differences are very very clear 